will be placed on hold until the next caller arrives. Hard Dollar is pleased to announce it has expanded its forecast capabilities in its latest release, version 12. Now users can drive forecasts using one of many methods, including current budget, current estimate, average performance, latest performance, and a manual plug method. These methods can be applied across a, uh, an entire project or can differ from one tracking item to the next. Utilize whichever method is most appropriate for your project and be proactive in driving highly accurate forecasts with detailed project performance feedback in a timely manner. Let's take a look at Hard Dollar's new forecasting capabilities. Utilizing a, uh, an example mining project and focusing in on tracking specifically the lateral development of this underground mining project, we are now looking at Hard Dollar's job tracking register and we are viewing a user-defined view that I've created. In this case, we're looking at our lateral development broken down into access ramps and drifts and then breaking them down into a third level. So tracking at uh, a third level all rolling up to the, uh, to the account code lateral development. Off to the right-hand side, you can see in a single view, we're looking at our baseline budget, control budget, uh, total cost earned to date, our actual cost to date, and uh, most importantly, our estimate at completion or our forecast. And that's where we're focused today. How did we drive this, um, this number here? And, and as mentioned, Hard Dollar has many methods to driving its forecast. So let's fo uh, focus on this large headings item under the drifts. Double click. And now I'm in this large headings activity record where now I have access to uh, an enormous amount of performance information regarding this particular activity. Right? Everything from the production details, right? plan versus average versus latest performance, right? our man hour details, planned, expended, forecasted, equipment details. Right? And again, most importantly, Let's focus on our forecast details. So here's a view into the forecast of this particular activity broken down by uh, cost category with many values to examine and analyze. But again, most importantly, we're looking at this particular estimate at completion. So the forecasted total cost of this particular activity. Currently, that forecast is being driven by the values in our current budget. So the estimated performance in our current budget uh, is driving that forecast. Hard Dollar provides you to op the option to drive your forecast using many uh, different variables or methods. So if I wanted to base my forecast on my average performance of this particular activity, I can easily toggle and now our numbers have updated. Right, so it's as easy as uh, toggling from one method to another. The results will uh, feed in real time, and then you can go off and generate your uh, reports. So a very streamlined uh, and, and quick process to kind of drive your forecast using any one of these methods. So now I've, I've selected the most recent performance. And lastly, we've added our manual forecasting. So this is simply allowing the user to override or um, plug in the forecast value. So in this case, if I wanted to plug in the value, currently we've got it at uh, $4.6 million is where we're estimate or forecasting at completion, whereas our control budget is uh, just under 4.7 million. Right? So in the current method of forecasting where we're looking at uh, a surplus, we're going to be in under budget by, you know, say $50,000. Well, I can either plug in the total cost forecast, forecast value or I can plug in the variance, I believe, at the end of the project. Right? So let's, let's go ahead and do that, saying, you know, being... Uh, under budget by $50,000 is a little uh, 
uh, more than just positive thinking. It's, uh, it's something that maybe you don't want to uh, drive your reports with. So I can uh, simply uh, plug in a value that is, is maybe a little bit more realistic, uh, just knowing what I know uh, about the details. So I've plugged that number in, and then I can go ahead and update my forecast using the manual method right, versus any of the other methods. And then, of course, if I wanted to toggle from one to the other and drive reports off any one of these methods, I can simply uh, do that by utilizing this drop-down box. If you'd like to learn more about Hard Dollars project controls capabilities and forecasting uh, functionality, please reach out to your local Hard Dollar representative. Thank you for your time.